Hey there, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that bell button so you'll be notified every time that I post. See you! Hello, hello, hello guys. Uh, well, welcome back to the channel. Uh, our goal for today is to do this routing. Being able to go from one page to the other. You might be surprised now, surprised now, because uh, I just hit and uh, search and I didn't enter nothing, and still I got some results. Uh, that happened because I made uh, so that if this field is empty, uh, the application is supposed to show me random pictures. I didn't want to give errors, right? Okay, so this is where we left off on our last. Class. Let me close the remaining application for now. I I don't really need them. Let Let's focus on this. Okay. The first thing for us to do is um, you come up to the main, and for the home, we'll change this to first page. Okay, you have to restart the application. If you do hard reload, this will not work. So just re restart the application. Okay, it's taking a while, but okay, it's done. So all we want is that when we hit search, we go to the second scene screen. Okay, uh, let's go back to our search here we are and for now we just declare this has an empty function right uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to use something called navigator uh, we use navigator when we want to do routing page routing of context what's the meaning of this of context we're basically saying okay we want to go to somewhere but from where we're coming contact is the current position of the uh, of the widget inside the widget tree so making trying to make that explanation simple content is basically where you are inside the application or where that widget is inside of the application so we're saying that from here from this current page or from here we want to go if you want to go somewhere we use push right now okay push from here where we are we want to go somewhere now we're supposed to say where are we going uh, let's do new material page route right for the builder we're going to give context contexts again where we are and after this we are going to return the route and we're going to write return new oops second page basically we are calling this class from here we are calling this class or this widget right and we define the second page down here second page state for widget so now what we're doing here we are calling so just uh, let us see this again on press we want to do what navigator from where we are we want to push we want to go then we do new material page route the builder the context to give the context we want to return a new instance of that class we want to call this widget right easy as it gets let's uh, first of all restart the application you can do hard reload for this one i guess that it will work okay it's taking okay it's done 
and let's try it ladies and gentlemen it is working okay this may take some time uh, it depends on your internet speed actually because you're fetching the images from the API so it depends on your internet speed so flutter is amazing we're using this material design route we automatically get this button to go back to our previous page so this is working now uh, I want to do something else still on this video we want to be able to change this let's go down here API key we're getting the API key but here on these I wrote cars that's why every time we get car image if I write uh, bananas for example let me do hot reload maybe it will work for now okay and I hit search here now we're probably going to get banana images right okay so uh, what does it mean if you want to change the categories we have to change after this ampersand Q here as well we're going to get the category so let's do one thing let's require a string here and we're going to call this category right and we're going to come in here where we have bananas and we're going to give category okay um now we have this error of course where is it let me do it like this the problem is inside our future builder and just to do one basic thing let's come here inside of the future builder and what are we going to look to write ball for example hot reload okay and we're getting ball images why coming back here we can see we are passing the category ball to this function and here we have the category now this is not what we want to do we want to be able to enter the category name from the from the text field and have it here right so how can we do this okay let's try to find a way let's create a string here and we're going to call this string uh, category let's come in here and write second page mm, let's give this this dot category okay let's come in here well I have ball here erase this ball and write um category uh well actually here we have to give widget dot category why because this uh stateful class has this class as a state of this class so here we have the stateful class state stateful widget where we define the string category now down here we are saying what go to the stateful class the widget dot category we want this value from there okay 
and now what can we do is coming up uh, when the code grows it get it gets kind of complicated but okay where we call the second page when we're doing the routing here okay now what are we going to put inside of it just for testing purposes let's write category oops just for testing purpose we'll insert category then we're going to say that category is equal what can i write now smile okay i lost my internet connection just now meaning that the api will not respond so i'll pause the video and when my internet connection is back i'll continue just a second okay uh, my connection is back so uh let's try where is that where is that okay i tried putting smile and i already rebooted the device oh if i hit search we can take a look on what's happening okay so it's working uh let's do one thing now we don't want to write this like this so let's come back up here where we have this category name controller uh, so we'll come down here let's erase this and here i'll write uh, category name controller dot text okay so let's run the application again it's taking a while okay it's done um, let's try car hit search and see if it's working depending on your internet speed this may be slow or very very quick okay it's taking a lot of okay here we have it i don't even need to wait for all of the pics to reload just let me write a random thing to make sure that this is working let's try uh, Germany fail to get response from server so we probably or one we don't have Germany or two we don't have um, my internet connection is not working but that's the, the reason my internet connection is not working let's try it again you see the way we, we had the application even when you have errors if you don't put that option like writing fail to get connection from the server the screen is going to be red and everything will be very scary for the user right and my internet connection today i don't know what's happening let me pause okay mm, the problem was i was connected to my neighbor's network but now we are back and we are up and running right so the logic of the application is almost done let me try one more thing what can i try here um let me try love to see if it's working okay <clears throat> 
maybe we can also find a way to make this look like bring it to the center and make it look prettier than this but we'll check it <coughs> on some of the next videos uh thank you for watching uh i don't know what's happening with my internet connection today i'm getting low internet connection and i'm getting the photos from the api but anyhow thank you for watching see you on the next one peace